guys so this video will be about uh, Singapore um, I was in Singapore last year uh, it was uh, August uh, actually July August and September and I have to say that it was pretty hot but it doesn't matter what time you're gonna go there because there is hot like 40 degrees all the time and it's like raining almost every day not like in Malaysia but almost every day and it's not even kind of refreshing but you don't have to be worried it's it's good when it's like a bit rainy so you have to be ready for Singapore that it's a really expensive country they have um, Singapore dollars so if you want to spend really nice time there also as in the other countries like you have to really <laughs> have money for this so you have to be prepared for that so Singapore it's a pretty nice place it's very clean it's one of the cleanest places I ever been I think it's maybe like second or third in the world so it's really nice to go there because you will really feel connection with the nature so you have to really go there and, and enjoy like what you're gonna see um, it's really nice even in the city center even outside because you, f you can find really many places to go there and have really good experience about things that you're gonna do and have really nice fun so there are a few places like in the city center is this Merlion which is like the lion with that um, with the tail <laughs> it's really funny um, I don't have that many pictures in my phone to show you but I will try to show you as much as possible not even videos I have everything in my computer but my computer is kind of not in a good situation now so maybe later I can make some small pre preview and add it uh, also after so for now I'll just show you what I have and the most important things that you need to see so Merlion is the first thing also Mer in, around this area it's actually in the city center of Singapore you have the Marina Bay that's the name and you can find there actually this uh, huge swimming pool which is on the 80 I don't know I'm gonna lie now but it's really pretty high I think everybody know about this place that is a swimming pool there and of course it's a hotel so if you want to stay there it's kind of really expensive but I think you can even go without being a person who is living in the hotel so I think you just have to pay maybe around $80 and I heard about the drink so if you want to have this experience it's pretty nice it's also a bar there I went there and it was amazing the view it totally worth it so this is one of the thing that I really love there I also really love to go to the high places like read to the rooftops even on the highest like bars outside which uh, you can find on these buildings because you can even see it or google it and it's pretty amazing like the view at the night and the lights like guys you have to just go there it's like just amazing this is the most important thing for me like if you want to go there just go to the highest thing to the highest places you can find there and it's amazing as i said um you have there the the museum um the art art science museum i didn't went there but you can see the how they built it i have no fucking idea how they did it but it's just really beautiful and if you have this experience in your life i think it's it's really good um i didn't went so i you have in the city center also garden by the bay uh these gardens are super huge i have no idea how they built it but it's so nice and at 8 and 7 45 they also play music for 15 minutes and you can see how the lights are changing in 
by the night and it's really nice anyway the the time is not changing there even if it's summer or the winter so it's all the time stable so you can go any any time of the year you want there so these gardens they were make the movie avatar of course you know it so <laughs> you can check it it's really beautiful you have the universal studios there i didn't went there but I think it's good uh, experience in the life if you go there. Of course, everything if you're gonna check everything is good experience. So I don't want to, I don't want to say again what I was saying even before. And um, you have the Singapore Zoo. Oh, there is Island Sentosa. You just have to go there. You will see all the European people there, and you can play vo beach volleyball. You have a bar. The music is amazing, and the. Sentosa Island is really pretty amazing. Mm, you have botanic gardens. But it's so hard, you have to be prepared that you're gonna get your umbrella or something. <laughs> in Singapore, of course, you have uh, Chinese people, but mostly of them they are talking in English, so you don't have to be careful about anything that you want to solve or you have some some problem everybody is talking in english singapore is amazing about that it's really small place and you have a city center so if you want to go for shopping you can go but it's kind of expensive so it doesn't work to shop there only if you want to get some souvenirs this is an important thing of course um, you have there the arabic street the chinatown the india town you have actually uh, in one small town everything. It's kind of hard to get in Singapore. I mean, they really are They're really strict about so many things not even like about the visa or tourist visa They are just checking you so have, you have to be careful when you go there But also they are strict about the rules like for example, you cannot throw the gum because the gums are Actually not even there. So you will not find a gum So if you wanna you can take with you But you just have to be careful and prepare that if they're gonna throw your gum away just just don't be surprised because they don't have them there or for example about smoking there are so many places strictly like no smoking and you have to be super clean in Singapore because you have so huge penalties about many things you can get a card uh, about the buses or the metro or everything it's pretty easy to go there anywhere the taxis are not even that expensive you also have a grab application as i said even in malaysia that you have this application and it's pretty simple to to move there i was actually walking i was living kind of where is the jungle so i had sometimes monkeys in my house so it was kind of uh, scary for me but it was really weird feeling to have this wild animal in the kitchen you know like I just closed myself the room and I said that I will never leave this place so they were like you know stalling the salt and all this kind of thing so it was pretty funny anyway it, it's pretty amazing and you have to be prepared that if you have a lizard in your apartment or something just don't be scared but I think in the hotels really expensive hotels you're not gonna have these kind of things you just have to live nearby the jungle as I did so you are saved and uh, what else of course you have these high view bars as I said before um, yeah mm. you have this fountain of wealth you will find it on the and the city center again as I said before no spa no smoking of course Well, in general, Singapore is small, you can taste the feel of the China and any other country and I don't have to say anything about Singapore else because uh, the life there is pretty amazing. I think it's a really good uh, place to stay, for example, if you want to make a family and if you want to have good money and there is like more about the oils and about the ships, about the boats and all this kind of um, cooperation with the other countries. So the life there is really nice. 
but to get you know into it and all these kind of things you have to like Asia so I think it's just about every person how they gonna how you're gonna get used to Singapore and Singaporean people and Chinese people and everything also if you want to make uh, a small trip around the islands that uh, they are so close to Singapore you can do it because it's totally worth it to buy a ticket from Singapore for example to Indonesia or to Bintan Island I went there for a shooting and it was nice but it was totally empty but if you want to really clear your mind it's a really nice place you have a Bali there uh, of course in Singapore if you gonna go there in the summertime there is like always a festival and all these famous DJs so you can go there it's like amazing um, you can find also really beautiful bars there in Singapore you just have to find these hidden places and it's really beautiful it's really worth it to go and uh, uh, explore all these hidden places there and I think you have you will have a pretty nice time there <laughs> so enjoy